Like many coastal communities in Maine, recovery efforts are still underway after storms battered parts of the state earlier this year. One location that's been a gathering place for the town can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. Sarah Whaley has more. When people think of Surrey, I want to think of Perry's Lobster Shack. Perry's Lobster Shack, an iconic coastal restaurant in Surrey, has transformed from this to this. I have people that use this dock to get out to their pleasure boats. I have um, 10 fishermen that use this wharf, you know, to get to their boats. Like many coastal towns in Maine, Surrey took a major hit after intense storms earlier this year. The storm that rolled through Maine in March completely took out the wharf located behind Perry's. We've added land and tables and stuff up here. So honestly, right now we have more tables on just the property alone than we did with the wharf before. Thanks to community members putting together a GoFundMe and a grant program, the wharf once owned by Cody's grandparents is finally on the road to recovery. We're gonna try to do six pilings a day, so we're hoping by next week we'll have all the pilings complete. The goal is we're waiting on Viking Lumber to deliver the rest of the material, but uh, we're, on, we're on the road to uh, full recovery. Going on year eight of owning the popular Surrey location, Cody never expected the journey he endured to get where he is today. This past year has been a series of trials and tribulations. Um, we've gone through so much, just, just in me, me and my own life, you know, I, I lost a son in uh, um, November and then this was in March and there's just been a lot of stuff going on, right? But Cody never really knew what he meant to the Surrey community and what Perry's Lobster Shack means to Maine. What drove him through times of uncertainty was his faith in the community that always had his back. It's a really heartwarming feeling to know that the work that you're doing is so rewarding. C.R. Whaley, WABI-TV 5 News, Surrey.